In this video, I'll show you how to share files or folders saved on your Synology NAS using FileStation and share file links. We'll need to use either Quick Connect or DDNS and port forwarding to provide access to your Synology NAS, but once everything is in place, sharing your content will be simple and straightforward. The first sharing file option I'd like to cover is by using Quick Connect. And to enable Quick Connect, we'll need to go to Control Panel, External Access, then Quick Connect. Here I'll enable Quick Connect, sign into my Synology account because this is a fresh install of DSM-7, and enter in a Quick Connect ID I'd like to use. Under Advanced Settings, I'll uncheck the Mobile Applications and DSM boxes under Permissions because I'd like to limit Quick Connect to File Sharing, and then I'll click OK. I'll click Apply, and now Quick Connect should be all set up. To learn more about Quick Connect, check out my video on setting up Quick Connect by clicking on the card above or by visiting the link in the description below. Next, I'll go to FileStation, which brings me to this Documents folder. If I'd like to share this document here, I'd have to right-click on it and select Share. Note that when using Quick Connect, Synology enables the gofile.me sharing link that you can use as a base to share your files. Under the sharing link, we have the options to copy the link to the clipboard so we can use it in an external application like email or text messaging. Email the link directly from DSM if email has been set up, or get a QR code that we can download and provide to others in an external application as well. I'll click on the Save button to finalize the setup. To test the sharing link, I'll first connect to my iPhone personal hotspot to make sure I'm on an external network. Next, I'll bring up another browser window and paste in the link I copied to my clipboard earlier, and we see that the sharing link works fine, and I'm able to download the document that I just shared. Next, I'll set up DDNS and port forwarding, which I covered in my video on remotely accessing a Synology NAS running DSM-7 with DDNS and port forwarding, which I'll link to in the card above and in the description below as well. The first thing I'd like to do is disable Quick Connect, so I'll head back into Control Panel, External Access, and Quick Connect, and uncheck the Enable Quick Connect box. I'll then switch to DDNS, and like in my DDNS and port forwarding video, I'll be using Synology as the DDNS provider and enter in a host name I'd like to use. I'll check the box to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default, then click Test Connection to make sure everything is working properly. Everything looks to be good, so I'll click OK and OK again on this warning window regarding the default certificate. The web server will reload and now DDNS will be all set. One other thing I'd like to do is redirect HTTP to HTTPS to make sure the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate is always used when sharing files. To set this up, I'll bring up the login portal and check the box to automatically redirect HTTP connections to HTTPS for DSM desktop and click Save. For port forwarding, here is my router setup for sharing files with FileStation. Basically, I need to enable TCP ports 5000 and 5001 on my router to forward to the corresponding ports on my Synology NAS. Now I'll head into FileStation again, and this time I'll share a folder instead of just a file. I'll bring up my Pictures folder, right-click on this subfolder, and click Share. We see a sharing link like we had with the Quick Connect setup earlier, but instead of gofile.me, the DDNS domain name we created in the previous step is used instead. We have all the same options to share the folder like in the file example earlier, and I just need to click Save to confirm the setup. I'll test the sharing link externally once again by first connecting to my iPhone personal hotspot. I'll then bring up another browser window and paste in the link. Now we see that the files within the folder are displayed, confirming that the sharing link is working properly. The last thing I'd like to cover is how to manage shared links. 
There are various options available when creating or modifying share file links and I'll bring up the share settings for the file that I worked on earlier to look at those options. One option is to enable secure sharing. This option gives us the ability to share the file with either specific DSM users or with the public by assigning a password to the sharing link. We can also set a validity period for the link, giving it either a beginning date, an expire date, or combine the two options. We also have the options to limit how many times the shared link can be accessed. To manage all the shared links that have been created, you can go to Tools and Shared Links Manager. Here, you'll be able to edit individual shared links like we did previously. Delete shared links that aren't needed anymore. Share links by either copying the link or sending it via email. Or clear any invalid links like broken or expired links. Hopefully this video helped you in sharing files and folders on your Synology NAS with FileStation and share file links. And if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you like this video and check out one of the other videos here on screen as well. Thanks so much for watching.